episodic memory part again. To my name is Richard Socher. After my PhD, I started MetaMind, a small startup that takes artificial intelligence and applies it to all the different applications. Anything from classifying intracranial hemorrhage and head CT scans to understanding the images in a social media stream. After two years, we got acquired by Salesforce, which was a phenomenal partner for us to bring this to artificial intelligence technology to a lot of different industries. I'm now the chief scientist of Salesforce, and it's very humbling and very exciting role. It's towards the end as well, so yeah. just fixing up some of the bugs. I think AI in particular is so fascinating because on the one hand, it solves some very concrete problems, and you can have huge amount of impact. You can save lives with artificial intelligence if you apply it in medicine and healthcare. At the same time, in AI, you work on some really interesting questions around what is intelligence? How do we define intelligence? There's motor intelligence, there's visual intelligence, there's language intelligence. And so all these different areas really also help us understand who we are, what makes humans intelligence, uh, and how do we use intelligence to improve our world? The future of AI is phenomenally exciting. So I think there, every different uh, application, every industry out there, from farming to transportation to medicine, everything will be influenced by artificial intelligence and improved and automated and, and made more intelligent. I used to think you can only do research in academia. But later on, I saw how many different companies are also doing phenomenally interesting research in industry, in, especially in machine learning, because machine learning has all these different application areas. A PhD allows you to do research that is really deep. And it's one of the few times in life where you can focus in on something for many, many years and you become the world's expert in exactly that field. A PhD enables you to control your career in an incredibly autonomous way. You have all the options in the world, anything from consulting, starting your own company, joining other large companies, to becoming a professor. Those are all options that you have at the end of your PhD.